Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Here's Kristen and the forecast. Good afternoon. It's going to be a beautiful first day of summer. Lots of sunshine. The winds finally calming down as the system moves on out and temperatures nice and mild too, especially in the southeast. Actually a little bit cooler than normal there. High pressure is going to be building in though as we head to the next several days and that's going to mean temperatures starting to warm up and we're going to be looking at that heat sticking around into the weekend and back to above average temperatures over the next few days and going into the weekend and high pressure is going to keep us dry too. But the wind should stay fairly light as we finish out this work week. Highs today in the upper 80s for the metro, low 90s tomorrow, and then into the mid 90s as we head into the weekend. It's now up to Mayor R.J. Barry to decide if the red light camera issue will be on the October ballot in Albuquerque. But in reality, no matter the vote, it may not change the program at all. City councilors voted five to four last night in favor of the proposal by Councilor Dan Lewis to let voters recommend that the red light camera program should continue. Mayor Barry has 10 days to sign or veto the bill. Councillor Debbie O'Malley there said the only way voters could de actually decide the fate of the program is if there was a referendum, and if the matter is placed on the ballot, it would not be a referendum. Students in Cloudcroft will only attend class four days a week next year. The Cloudcroft School District made it official. The school board reaffirmed its position last night and as a cost savings move voted to approve the four-day week Tuesday through Friday starting in August. Many angry parents were at the meeting last night. They have started a petition drive calling for the recall of the school board and the firing of the superintendent. The superintendent said last night he was willing to take a 5% pay cut. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.